Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Maria Anderson. We talk about blockchain, crypto money and investments here. Welcome to this podcast, guys. You will have a lot of new knowledge today because I have a special exclusive guest today. Bastian. Bastian is a crypto trader, crypto investor, crypto content creator with yeah. over than how many how many followers do you have Bastian? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Hi, nice nice to meet you and thank you thank you for the invite. Very very nice. Um yeah, uh, 60,000 subscribers Ooh. on on YouTube for the Germans and Austrian and Switzerland. That's a lot. Uh, yeah, 60, it's a lot. 000. Yeah, 60,000. And you also have a lot of followers on Twitter? Yeah, on Twitter yes. like almost 10 10 K and um, on Instagram 10 K as well. Wow. So yeah, it's growing very fast for the German community. It's very crazy. Yeah. People are following a excited, trades. excited yeah. times. Yes, that's and true. And you're a daily trader. Yes, oh my I am. God. Yes, daily trader, daily crypto trader. Um, this is my daily business, what I'm doing every day. Yeah, I'm and trading this every is day. why I want to talk about yeah. this today. You know, I prepared about 10 different questions. I want to ask yeah. you because I'm sure my audience will be also also interested in that. You know, they they will get a lot of knowledge today, mm -hmm. I'm sure. So, guys, taking a notebook, you know, make some notes because today I will be asking Bastian some super cool <laughs> yeah. questions. And of course, the first question I want to ask you is: This crypto trading is your main source of income, and how it became your main source of yeah. income? Yeah, it is my main source of income. So it starts all in one was it, 2018, something like oh, this. Okay. Yeah, I worked for Mercedes Benz like a product engineer, and then comes the Corona um, pandemic, and yeah. then, and then was this timing, yeah, perfect time for me because then I said, okay but I'm bored you know I was at home home office nothing was happened in in Germany and in Europe as well and then yeah I take the time and said hey okay um, I try the the um, crypto stuff I, I have a first look on it I try the trading stuff yeah and this is um, how it begins yeah wow. it was crazy yeah crazy time from 2018 to right now <laughs> long journey so you used to live in Germany yes exactly I'm oh. from Germany Germany but um, going no I was going to Dubai yeah, three years ago. Since three years, I'm living here in Dubai as well. Okay, yeah. so cool. Yeah, it's very I've nice. I've been living here in Dubai for two years now. Two years almost. Nice. But I'm also very happy. First time I came here, it was like 20 years ago. Can you imagine? 20 years yeah, ago? Yeah, I'm very old. There <laughs> yeah. Only one street there or? <laughs> no, it was actually, it was Burj Al Arab here ah, already. Okay. And some, you know, camels around. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love nice. the place. I saw a potential in this place. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy how fast it's growing here, yeah, right? Yeah. And how, how the cryptocurrency and the crypto industry here in Dubai, oh, yeah. it's growing from month to month to month. It's crazy. This is also what um, why I take this spot because the connections to the cryptocurrency stuff, to the cryptocurrency guys, it's very crazy. So crypto community, is crypto the best community, here. yeah, it's Do amazing. Do you have, by the way, the same as in Europe, like crypto community? Not so big, no, no, not so big. You have little, little space or li little, um, yeah, little community there, okay. but not so huge here in Dubai. You know, in Dubai, it's crazy. You have, if you want, you can go every day to an event yeah. for scriptures, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know it, so yeah, yeah. yeah, it's very crazy in Dubai. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Let's talk about trading because we love Dubai. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> let's go to the trading yeah. stuff. Uh, so, you know, some people think that crypto trading is so simple to learn and you can just learn maybe, you know, trading a couple of times per month and you just know everything yeah. and it can become your main source of in income like this. Is it so simple? It's not. It's <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> not. No, no. A lot of people think, okay, I am investor. I am starting yeah. with trading with one k, for example. I okay. starting with trading with one k, and tomorrow I have one hundred k. A lot of people think this because they saw how fast the cryptocurrencies are going, or how yeah. fast um, if Bitcoin is pumping, dumping. The volatility is crazy in crypto. Uh, we know that. We know that in meme coins. We know that in altcoins. We know that um, for Bitcoin as well. So a lot of people think, okay, I put five hundred dollars. I try it and tomorrow is, um, yeah, I take 10x, 20, 30x, 100. Yeah, 100x, you know. All the people want Yes, it. all the people want it. I know. <laughs> all the people want it. But um, yeah, it's not the reality, you know. Um, trading is like a job. 
Yeah, you have to um, take a lot of time to invest it that you get um, a yeah. good profit in, in the end of the day. You know, so a lot of people think um, it's very easy, but it isn't. Yeah, I take. It was my time two years. I take two years to, to get very, very good profitable um, on the trading stuff. And it depends on the person as well. You know, you have persons, they said, okay, in half a year, yalla, perfect. I know everything and I take profits and, and this stuff. And then you have people, okay, they need one year, two years, three years, four years. Or you have people, the whole stuff, it's not working with the people you know yeah. so a lot of people think okay we, they can do it but trading is not for everyone for sure not yeah so this is what i actually wanted to hear trading yeah. is like a job it is it this is this is not something no, it's you not can fun. do just for fun no. a couple of times per month it's not fun because imagine you invest your own money yeah it's your own money and if you lose it it's gone it's away yeah. yeah so this is a very very important thing what you um, think about it it's your own money and if you invest your own money it's better not to lose it you know of course you know yeah. recently i asked my instagram audience i have the biggest audience on my instagram yeah. and i post a lot of stories daily. i saw it yeah. yeah so i asked my guys what was your crypto loss you know how did you lose money recently in crypto and unfortunately unfortunately a lot of guys told me that oh i invested my college money or i invested my money for operation yeah. or my money for my rent all my money and i lost it all yeah and so this is this is crazy, this is yeah? crazy yeah because they they think they can do it yeah. but then comes the emotional stuff their yeah, mindset is big big thing in in trading if you're not um good with your mindset you have a big problem yeah if you could doing scalping day trading or investing as well yeah if you're going too emotional into trading yeah. it's very difficult to get profits um on it yeah and this is the biggest part in my opinion what a lot of people have the problem with the fomo yeah, yeah. and fear of missing out so this is the biggest problem in crypto yeah so what to do never start yeah you you can start you because can. um start with small money not okay. put all in never 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 guys never go all in yeah and put a, only a small amount on it and say okay i start with example 50 dollars or 20 dollars only small steps and if you see oh it's working and it's going and it's growing yeah you can put money on your wallet every time yeah. yeah it's easy it's easy you can put it on the crypto exchange every time so um this is very easy stuff but you have to keep careful that you don't lose it but start with small things and i say to all my audience as well don't do the demo trading stuff okay. because it's completely ah, different with the mindset okay. you know if you have the demo conto or the demo account on exchanges you say yeah okay 10k on it 10k away you're very risky and some stuff then and if you're your own money it's completely different, different. completely yeah. yeah so start with small money and then you can yeah grow it up later and learn consistently and learn consistently yeah. every day every day don't don't let it um, go and say oh okay bitcoin is going in the sideways or in accumulation phase it's boring this is the time where the money starts to begin you know mm, interesting yeah so every time every time when the when the chart or the the bitcoin price is accumulating and going to a sideways phase this is the time where you can prepare your positions to the next move if the move is coming, then the other people are saying, oh, okay, Bitcoin now, can I buy it? Can I take the trades now? I see it in my, in my community as well, you know? Yeah. And then it's too late because the price was going up three, four, five K in one hour, two hours. And then you're late because you're not in the trade, you know? Yeah, but this is how you learn, actually. Exactly. Next time you will not do this. Mistake, exactly. Right? So guys, For follow sure. Bastian. I will leave all the links in the description. Okay, let's talk about meme coins a little bit. Because yeah. my audience <laughs> love meme coins. I see it, yeah. You know, I used to wear Bitcoin hat. Now I wear Shiba hat. Not because I don't love Bitcoin anymore, but because I just love Shiba today <laughs> maybe yeah. tomorrow it will change i don't know so you're a bitcoin maxi or not um 
To 90% yes. Okay, so, but yes. anyways, uh, let me ask you this question. What is different between trading Bitcoin and trading meme coins, for example? Is it the same strategy? No, uh, no, completely different. First of all, it's different. The market capitalization is completely different. Okay. Yeah, so, for example, on meme coins, you have, for example, some million dollars on it. So you need a smaller amount to um, increase or decrease the price. Yeah, so it's, for example, if meme coin is trading like 0 0.000001, yeah, two, yeah, yeah. yeah um, it takes a lot of small amount of money to increase the price to the upside or to the downside. Mm -hmm. So it's, um, yeah, I said very easy to manipulate sometimes. And um, yeah, on, on Bitcoin trading, it's completely different because yeah, Bitcoin, Bitcoin is Bitcoin. <laughs> I say, okay, yeah, okay. I Bitcoin is Bitcoin. Bitcoin I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I have also altcoins as well, but okay. it's completely different, um, the trading stuff because of the volatility. If Bitcoin dropping for three, five percent or something like that the meme coins altcoins who like 10 30, 20 30 even, yeah. 40 percent you know you never know it in the meme coin section so but it's very interesting it's, it's very fun, interesting yeah. yeah but you can lose all your money trading meme coins guys be careful exactly be careful of this <laughs> yeah okay yeah. let's talk about your portfolio <laughs> yeah now you sure. told me that you are 90 percent in bitcoin yeah but uh, i want to know more okay don't tell me numbers but for example can you tell me how your portfolio looks like? For sure. example, I can tell you about my portfolios because I have several. I'm experimenting now. So I have my huge crypto portfolio. Yeah. And I also have, have inside my crypto portfolio three different crypto portfolios. Low risk, middle risk and high risk. And the, the meme coin section, yeah, yeah, high yeah. risk. <laughs> and this is how I experiment. I see, for example, in the end of every month, how it performs. Yeah, true. So for now, when we have this crypto meme coin bull run, of course, meme coin portfolio performs better, like high risk. Yeah. And that one that is, uh, you know, medium risk or maybe low risk, it's not performing that uh, good. What yeah. about your portfolio? Yes. Yeah, so all in all, what I'm told you, um, 90% in Bitcoin, wow. but um, I have a lot of uh, HBAR at the moment, so oh, okay. Hashgraph, yeah, it's very interesting. Also the information and in the news with the BlackRock yeah. um, working yeah, together, yeah. it's very, very interesting and it's growing very, very fast. So um, that was my leverage in, was 0 0.06, something like that. Now we are at uh, 0 0.1, okay. so it's yeah, doubled. So it's very good and I think this is a very potential project for the future as well mm -hmm. because a lot of big companies are in it, Google, IBM, um, yeah. Boeing and so on and so on and a lot of companies coming in as well in my view yeah. but yeah um, this is one of the biggest altcoins what I have in my this portfolio. This is altcoin guys, this is alt not coin. a meme coin. That's not a meme coin. Meme yeah. coin, I have Shiba Inu as well. For nice. fun, yes, like this one. <laughs> For fun, yeah, you have to be a little bit, you know. In meme coins, if you take some dollars in it, yeah, if it's going up, it's got, it's very nice, it's cool. If it's going yeah. down, then yeah, okay. So. But anyway, it's more the for me the fun section for the meme coins. Maybe for you as well, high risk, you know. Yeah, of course. Yes, and um, yeah, I have a Shiba Inu as well. But that's it for the for the meme coins. I'm not the <laughs> meme coin fan, um, okay, but okay. It, it's very interesting how the meme coin community is growing at yeah. the moment and in the last months as well. So this is very interesting part of yeah, it. Yeah, especially meme coin community on different blockchains. Exactly. This is yeah. crazy. We yeah. didn't see it in the last bull market. Correct. Yes. We didn't see it yes. because now we have huge amount of meme coins on Solana. Yeah. We have all, all the other blockchains building their meme coins. Yeah. And they're like wow. But I think it's not bad. Uh, it's not that bad. I would say never invest all your money in meme coins, obviously. But meme coins, what they can do, they can kind of bring new people to the crypto space. And then people yeah. will start uh, learning about crypto, discovering more things like serious altcoins yeah. with good utilities. Maybe even Bitcoin, maybe even people will start reading Bitcoin white paper finally. <laughs> yeah, true, true. This is what I'm telling. Yeah, because they're thinking yeah. about it and said, yeah, okay, come on, I put $50 in it yeah. anyway, you know. And um, But then how 
that they can invest it, they have to um, take the information how yeah. they can invest it, you know. Yeah. And this is then very good for the meme consists. They said, okay, I want to buy Shiba Inu, for example. Okay, how can I buy Shiba Inu? So they have to do a research for it. Yeah. And then, yeah, it's going to the crypto market. And after they Maybe the start first step. researching, yeah, this is how yeah. like first step because meme coins are they so simple, exactly. So <laughs> yes. But never ever, guys, invest all your money in meme coins. No, I see it all over. Like, no, please do it not. It's only a fun thing. If it's growing, if it take one thousand x, I don't know. Then it's fine, you know. But never ever yeah. invest all your money in it. Never. I'm not sure Shiba Inu is going to one thousand x. Maybe I don't know. You know. We will see in the next bull market. It could be fun for sure. Maybe we are in the bull market, but if now after the halving in the yeah. next month is, it could be interesting for the meme coins as well. Yeah, I let's think. see how it goes. Yeah, if it if Bitcoin is growing, altcoins are growing, the whole cryptocurrency industry is growing. You know, so then it's very interesting what happened with the meme coins as yeah, well. Yeah, you know. By the way, also I have a lot of questions from my audience. Why those altcoins and meme coins always follow Bitcoin? Why yeah. is it so? Yeah, the, the thing is, Bitcoin is Bitcoin is Bitcoin. You know, the all the attention is going on Bitcoin. So yeah. if the Bitcoin is dropping or the Bitcoin, um, yeah, some news is coming. China is banning Bitcoin or something like that. Yeah. It's uh, it's against the whole crypto industry. Yeah, you know, and this is then why. Okay. Um, all the, the altcoins or the meme coins dumping as well because if Bitcoin is falling down um, it's the yeah the horse on the on the arrow you know what I mean so it's really it's the yeah the biggest part in the whole industry and if this one is dropping and if this one is not performing well yeah. it's completely going to the altcoins and to the um, yeah meme coins as well so true yeah by the way talking about China when yeah. I was uh, coming here to this podcast, I saw some news that, you know, this recent Hong Kong uh, Ethereum and Bitcoin ETF yes. was approved and everything is fine there. Yes. And maybe uh, Chinese investors who are from mainland, yes. they will have access to this ETF. Yes. What do you think will happen? This would be crazy. And yeah. I think I saw also the news that uh, China is thinking about it to adopt Bitcoin as well yeah. again. So, if this is happening, we know China is the biggest market in the whole world, you know. Yeah. And if this one is happening again, that all the Chinese people, or not all the Chinese people, but the bigger investors can invest in Bitcoin again. Whew, I think that's very interesting. Then also for the spot ETF in Hong Kong. Yeah. So, spot ETF Hong Kong and the, all the spot ETFs um, yeah, are very, very 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 big and if huge. they're huge yeah if they're so huge and going money in it more money more money um yeah it depends very very good price for the for the bitcoin as well can we see opinion, bitcoin half a million dollars per uh, we will <laughs> we will see so i'm very happy when we reach the 100k okay. but um at the moment i think it's possible to end of the year okay. that we see end of 100. the year january yeah 100 i say 95 99 because it's very interesting what happened on the 100k you know it's yeah. six digits it's the first time we we can hit 100k so a excited. lot of yeah but a lot of people in my opinion we'll yes for sure oh, yeah. for sure imagine 100k for one bitcoin Ooh. <laughs> That would be amazing for all of us, I think. Yeah, yeah of course. And maybe yeah. Ethereum will hit like 20k in this case, maybe. Exactly. Because imagine if Bitcoin is pumping or, or growing to 100k, yeah. the altcoins and the other stuff is growing as well. All Shiba is growing Inu then. Will hit $5 Shiba, you know, per yeah, then no. never. <laughs> never ever. Never. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, it's yeah. very interesting then what happened for the whole industry then. Yeah, for sure. So excited. Okay, yeah, okay. Me too. So I have one more very interesting question. So, what would you never do as a crypto trader? Never. Never ever. Never ever. Like maybe 100x leverage or something like yeah, this. Yeah, it's exactly that what you say yeah? at the moment. Yes, 100x leverage destroys you yeah completely Why? Tell me. because um if you're trading 100x your liquidation price is mm -hmm. only 50 60 dollars to the normal bitcoin price yeah. 
and 50, 60 dollars is in one second. <laughs> Bitcoin, like, take a small drawdown, bloop, and you are out, you know? So true. So uh, I don't like to trade the 100x things. So I'm an investor and trader who see the long way, the long term. Mm -hmm. So the maximum, what I did for my long term trades is 5x. Okay. For what the Even swing trades? 10. No, yes. 5x. Okay. Yeah, it's every time 5x. And um, for the day trades, for example, mm -hmm. then I go a little bit more risk and then I take the 35x, but this okay. is maximum. Maximum, maximum. And also, a small advice for the user outside there if you're starting with trading, start with a small leverage 5x max for the start and then you can increase it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't be too risky when you are a yes. newbie. Yeah, not yeah. too risky, not too risky because it's going so fast. Yeah. yeah, you see it, you see the price, you see you see you take pro you see the take profit and the profits and stop loss and everything, and it goes so fast and flip you're out of the market and, and you, you say you don't have okay one hundred dollar gone yeah. in one second for yeah, example for yeah sure. and this yeah and this is then again mindset thing. And then it takes a lot of this in mindset we had. And then on the next trade, you think, oh, should I do it really? Is it now good to invest? Yeah. Should I wait? Okay, he's dropping again. I think for sure he's dropping. And then he's going only up, 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 up. And then you said, damn, I want to invest. And then you yeah. are invest at 70K at all time high. You invested and then it's going down again to 60. And then you you um, um, sell your position at 60. Then you take 10K losses. Not oh good. my god yeah and this is the mindset thing you know it's very crazy and it is happening all the time like, all it's the not time something just happened one time and that's no, it. it's happening a lot constantly. of people a lot of people but this it. is kind of your learning you are paying exactly. for your lessons let's yeah. say so yeah Sometimes. you have to pay for your lessons yeah yeah, yeah. yeah you, have you have to do you have to do this is normal i paid for my lessons as well huge amount of money in the in the beginning and in the starting um i think that's a normal thing but the you have to ask you if it's take 5k or okay. 10k mm -hmm. no it can be 100 100 dollars it's fine yeah that it's you learn your lesson yeah, yeah for example yeah but yeah a lot of people lost a lo lot of money when they going too risky with 100x for example yeah unfortunately yeah. but this is also a part of the game if you don't yeah want to lose money ever never ever don't just don't invest in crypto don't trade crypto. true true you never know what happened yeah. you never know yeah it, it's all all the game how or how it could be in the future how yeah. it could be how it could be work in the next hour how it could be in, uh, work in the next four hours yeah this is the game this is the part of the game I lost a lot of money on meme coins. Meme coins? You yeah. traded it? No, actually, it, it was back in 2021 ah, when okay. I invested in them and just, you know, kind of on spot, I bought some meme coins and then I sold when they did some, yeah. you know, 10x, 100x, something like, like this. I made a lot of money, but I also lost a lot of money. Yeah. And this is this is what I think I paid for my lesson. Because a lot of meme coins, they was a scam the same as now. Yeah, true. Yeah, but now you, I like, think for sure you didn't do the, um, uh, uh, how, how it calls it? Research? In, the, the research, yeah. I think now you do your research I every do, day. Every yeah, time. Yeah, yes. of course. But even <laughs> exactly. if you do research and it, it might seem so cool and the blockchain is so, you know, yeah. cool and the community is This good. is also the part of the game. You never yeah, know. Never you know. You never know in the meme coin section. So, yeah. So true, true, so true. So what do you think, what's the difference between trading in crypto, or trading in crypto, I mean, and yeah. investing in crypto? Is it absolutely the same thing? Mm, no, it's not. No, why? So the, the thing is, the thing is, for example, if you invest in something, mm -hmm. it's like for the traditional markets as well. Yeah, If you invest in Apple or in something like that, you invest it, you have it, and you wait. Yeah. Simple. This is the normal invest stuff. So you yeah. buy meme coins, you buy altcoins, you buy Bitcoin, you put it on your hardware wallet, yeah, let it there and you wait till your price is going higher that you say, okay, I want to sell my Bitcoins at 80k, for example, okay. yeah, and you wait till 80k. So mm -hmm. um, right now for me, it's and it's also since yeah, I was starting with uh, crypto trading as well, it's more efficient for me to invest this money in my trading stuff because right now bitcoin is trading at sixty thousand dollars yeah. sixty four thousand dollars and if bitcoin is going to 120k you double your investment 
it's good. True, yeah. It's good. No way. It's very, very good. But in this time, with this invest, when Bitcoin is going to 120k, for me as trader, I don't double it. Yeah, I take 10, 20, 30x on this amount yeah. of money. So for me, is the trading stuff better in the bull market, for example, right now, mm -hmm. better as the normal invest? You can invest it when it's going a huge crash, FTX crash, Corona dump, something like this. Then you have to invest, but not okay. when Bitcoin is on 60, 70, 80,000 US dollars. You know, a little, little bit maybe, but then yeah. it's maybe more interesting to invest in the smaller projects or in the meme coin section. You know, yeah. Then but you have the meme more, coins, you maybe, have to be super fast. Yeah, you know? yeah, super fast. Yeah. Of course, yeah. if it's coming out, you have to buy it. <laughs> Directly. <laughs> so, yeah, two or yeah. three hours later, too late. You know? Even yeah, a couple. Or you of need days an airdrop days. or something like that. You know. Yeah, I saw a lot of examples like this. Yeah. I uh, yeah, recently I like tripled one meme coin and then I I'm like, okay, we'll wait a couple more days and then it dumped. Yeah, uh, oh damn. Like, okay, I <laughs> yeah. lost. Next but, time I will be more careful. No problem. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, trading and investing different things. Yeah, yeah completely but, different. But I think everyone can become a crypto investor. Exactly, everyone. But not everyone can become crypto trader. Exactly, because mm -hmm. this is also the, the part, what are you thinking when you're investing? Investing is, okay, I put money on it and I wait, I'm fine with that. I go to work, I go to sleep, I do th my normal stuff, my normal life. Yeah. Oh, okay, Bitcoin is going down a little bit more, I invest more, easy. But with the trading stuff, you have to take care of your positions, your stop loss. You have to um, take care of so many things, you know. Mm -hmm. And also the, the mi mindset, guys, I told it every time. Yeah, 90% is the mindset stuff. So you have to be careful of this. And yeah, this is the part of the game. So I think investing, it's very simple and easy. But what we talked um, a little trading. bit um, before is um, trading is you have to learn it. If you don't learn it, you lose money and that's not good. Yeah, you're so right. Yeah. And I know you have a huge community. Yeah. Like recently you went to Germany, you had more than 200 people listening yeah, the to you. Crypt, uh, my, my community event in Frankfurt yeah, was amazing. So we invited um, some people from my community to get um, yeah, conversations, talking about trading. Uh, it was a very nice day. Yeah. What was the most common question from your community? The <laughs> what what is when, when, can, ask when me? can I take the next long position? <laughs> yeah, you see, you see, it's so cool. Yeah, <laughs> every <laughs> time the same. Basti, when yeah. can we buy again? When when we open the next long position? I I, I don't open the long position when you do it uh, the last time. What can we do in the next? Can I do it now? What happened? This and what do you answer always? I say, guys, wait. Okay. Trading. Crypto trading, 365 days, 24 hours, seven days in a week. You know, you get your chances. You get every time your chances. Don't fall in FOMO. Wait that the price going down and the price is telling you, okay, right now it's a good time to buy, to go back in the position, uh, to go back um, in the trading stuff. Um, it's all this thing that you said, time. Yeah, You need the time and you have the time. For us as traders, for a good example, by the way, for us as traders, it's not important if Bitcoin is trading on $60,000, 100K, 50K, 30K. For us as traders, it doesn't matter. We need the volatility. And the volatility is at 100K, the volatility is at 20K. Yeah. For me, it doesn't matter where Bitcoin is trading. You know, but A lot of people don't think about it and say, yeah. oh, we are now at $60,000, $65,000. Yeah, I don't open a long position. Yeah. Why? <laughs> and even when Bitcoin is going like down, people are like, oh, yeah. what should I do? But for traders, it's even, you know, also nice. I would it's not say amazing. it's amazing. Yeah, it's good. If Bitcoin is dropping, I loved it. I love it. And all the people say, oh, no, Basti, can you do the live stream? Please, please yeah, go yeah. live. Yeah. I said, guys, watch to the chart. If Bitcoin is dropping, we get the bullish reversal for sure. But yeah. wait on it. Yeah, you have to wait on it. And a lot of people think, oh, no, I want now, I want now, I want yeah. buy now. And this is then the thing where you lose money. Again, this Again. is all about mindset. Yeah? Exactly. How you teach your, not teach maybe, how you 
I don't know, give some tips for your community yeah. how to control your emotions in trading. Yeah, so drink water, breathe. Drink water, drink water, breathe. Look out the, the window. <laughs> yeah, example. <laughs> yeah. Um, first of all, I said if you, for example, um, in a trade and this is a take profit trade, and you you took your take profits for the day. Yeah. Close the PC. Turn it off. Done. Your Don't working work day is done. Yeah, your working day is done. It could be only worse, you know, it could be worse. Okay. Because the thing is, um, they said, oh, okay, it works good. Then they take the next trade, the next trade, the next trade. Then they lose, they lose, they lose. And then they thought, okay, I have to buy back because I want to cover my my uh, losers, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then I, this is the first advice what I can give you. If you have a profit trade and you close the trade in the profit doesn't matter if it's 100 dollar 1000 5k doesn't matter close your pc close your laptop working day done tomorrow next day 365 days 24 7 this simple. is a very good tip yeah simple very it's so tip. simple because it imagine if you are in the in a trade and you take the profit 500 dollars for example it's a yeah. huge amount per day yeah you have to you have to think about it if you do this 30 days Whew, you know what what about like <laughs> setting aside some money from this profits or just go and trade the next day the whole amount of money again? um for for me it is um i put the money but i take the profit out of it and invest it in other things okay. so i'm not 100 percent okay. with my you all um, portfolio invested in crypto so i have um, some other things as well where i'm investing it um but yeah i i think this is a good thing because if it's gone from the from the exchange and it's gone from your wallet and it's away you yeah. you can't lose you it. it you, you don't, don't, don't see it, it. you yeah. can't lose it anymore you know yeah. so yeah i have every time the same amount on my on my trading platform and um all if it's going up and if I take some more profits and then I say, okay, every time when I reach 100K profits, I put it on my ledge every okay, time. Cool. Yeah. yeah, this is a nice tip. Yeah. This is a nice tip for you guys. Yes. <laughs> okay, uh, now I know you love Bitcoin even more than I thought. Yeah. So uh, the final question for today, because we have already talked for 25 minutes. This wow, so cool, it's, you know? cra it's crazy how this the time is, is flying, love right? This fear, you know, yeah. that's why we can talk like forever about this. True. And I have the <laughs> final question. So what do you think Bitcoin is? Is it a religion for you? Is it a movement? Is it just a source to make money? What is Bitcoin for yeah. you? For me, is Bitcoin a source to taking money? Not a religion. No, like I'm this. not the religion the guy would say, okay, um, Bitcoin um, replaces the whole fiat system or something like that. Maybe, but imagine if we are on Earth when this has happened, I don't think so. You know you what I mean? You don't think so? I don't think so, no. Right now I'm 31. In 30 years I'm 60, 62, maybe in 40 years. To replacing the fiat system, whew, I don't know. I'm very, very... I don't know. We will see. But um, yeah, right now, for right now, for me, for sure, it's um, yeah the the thing that I I live for. You know, okay. I, I'm a trader. This is the typical trader stuff. Yeah, I see the potential of an asset and I say, okay, let's go. This is my asset for the day. I traded it. You know, yeah, let's make and I take money, money of yeah, it. Yeah, sure. I take money of it because end of the day, you have to pay your your rent, your your whole life with with fiat at the moment. We will yeah. see what happened in the in the future, but this is all the stuff that why I have also my um, hardware wallet and my my normal hodl portfolio. You know, I have it, so I, and I I don't go in there and said, okay, now Bitcoin is an ADK, I sell everything. No, 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 no. <laughs> you have something that you <laughs> yes, know. yes, yes. I have something in the safe pocket, so for sure. But all the trading stuff, all the stuff, what um, the profits, what I what I generate at the moment going completely out out of the trading stuff and invested in different things mm, yeah. okay cool yeah you have to go every time as trader not only in the one way you have to go to some ways you know what what do you think it's the right one for you yeah this is so cool so but yeah. one day you can go to el salvador and you will pay <laughs> for everything in bitcoin and then you can pay everything in bitcoin <laughs> yeah, yeah sure you can buy some eggs bread i don't know whatever you exactly need. exactly yeah but imagine the the small countries yes for sure yeah. a lot of lot of small countries are following in my opinion 
that's for sure. Yeah. But if USA, Europe, Europe, oh, no, 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 no. Those Europe, old guys, sorry, but no, those old governments, so exactly, that are dinosaurs, exactly. For me, I call them so. And now you have your answer, you know. Yeah, no, they will never accept it. Never. They don't understand. Yes, yet. they don't understand yet. I think they have. Uh, they need a big, big change in the future. A big, huge change. Yeah. I don't know how, or I don't know how they do it, but it has to be a huge change in the yeah. whole government, in whole European countries, in so France, true. in Germany, mm. everywhere. <laughs> so true. So you know. True. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Thank you for today's podcast. Thank you. It was so cool. Let's do it one more time, maybe in half a year, and see how it goes. For maybe sure. Bitcoin will hit one. 100k then we talk again for yeah. sure we do it <laughs> thank you thank you thank you very much